That's where I went for his vandal. Okay, you know where Phoenix is. What do we do? Flash. He's on his. He's on my head left. Yeah. Yep. And then I. Yeah. That's some kind of unfortunate. Not really though. Not unfortunate. Mm -hmm. You knew it was coming. You just did it anyways. <laughs> So the first thing I see, look at the top left of your screen. Look at how big your mini map is. And you can't even see half of the map. Like at all. So you need to change that. Uh, what you want to do, go into your settings. So the settings will be keep player centered off. You want to have your mini map size at one, your mini map zoom at 0.9, and your vision cones on and show map region names to always. Perfect, because then you can see everything that's going on because the map gives you a lot of information and a lot of people don't use it, uh, it gets you killed. All right, let's see. Yeah, because you see there, you can see where everyone is. Nice, that was good. Okay. You know what happened there, right? Yeah, but you like, so watch what you do here. There's an angle here that's not been cleared. But you just you walk it and you don't clear it and now you clear it so if you so if you were to have slow walked it or even just like ferrari peaked with your crosshair on this angle quickly you would have found him uh just clearing the angle right here because he could be here they have full sight and if you looked at the mini map at the beginning when you're rushing site omen was right there you would have seen him over there but that's okay so just be be nice be a little bit more weary of the angles when you're swinging them like you're just running around the site and he has all the audio cues to just hold you you guys won the first round here's one other thing that i, I want to mention so you guys won the first round which means you have all the creds you bought light armor and a deagle one thing you should never do is buy light armor if you win the first round always buy full armor the reason for this is if they have a deagle and you're taking that long angle there, he can one tap you just like you can one tap him. So really, there's no advantage here. But if you have full armor, he hits you 145, you're still alive, right? And you should probably buy a better gun than a deagle just because you have the money. So you can get a better gun advantage. So like you buy, let's say you buy Spectre and you play a little closer. You're Reyna. They swing you. You can run and gun one and get out. But if you're holding this with a deagle and he swings you and somehow he wins, you just lost an easy win because you gave up and now it's a free site. So always get full armor and buy the best gun you possibly can. And then you, you should have decent armor for the next round and a better gun. So you have a better chance of winning the third. Okay. Bad. So another thing, uh, what rank is this? Iron three. Okay. So there was missing their shots. So are you, that's, that's okay. But what happens here? This is perfect. Good blind. You swing out, you take a couple shots and you stay here, but you saw three of them. You need to leave. Because look at that. If you backed out, yeah, yeah. So if you backed out there and played back here on this off angle and they walked into you, you can get one. But they're all just gonna swing you and out outman you. So one more thing. Beginning of this round, you guys lost. It looks like you all have money. Why do you all have money? Anyways, look at your team's buy. You guys can't all full buy. That's second round. You should make sure that this number here says at least 3,900 because you need to be able to buy into the next round because these two will bonus. You won that round. They keep their guns. You like buy. You shouldn't even win this round. Maybe you do. But now if you lose this, now your economy is just scuffed. Everyone's economy is scuffed. You should all be saving for next round. Right, because if you guys lose this round, well, then you're screwed for a couple more rounds. Okay, so one thing I'm going to tell you, this is fine. You got away with this. You went from heaven up here and you knifed out this entire way. But you saw three people run over here. So you live, but let's just say they fast pushed up here and there's two people here and your knife is out as you run. What do you think is going to happen? So what you can do is you either flash to get yourself into this position or you hold this angle for a kill. But like just knifing out when you see people is a bad idea. This is good though. This is good right here. See, so what you did there is good. I, you maybe you had an audio cue to know he was there maybe not because that's another example like when the omen was behind the box you didn't clear him but you cleared this angle you got a free kill for it yeah so that was perfect and the flash out that's good cluster place is not the worst that's good right here right here good okay now this is just unfortunate so another thing i'll give you another tip here so you saw three people run if you check your mini map you know the whole they're all here they have to be at least maybe one is not so what you should do here i'm gonna ask you a question once you get this kill what do you think the smartest thing to do would be 
right? You got a kill here. What do you think you should do? And if you healed, maybe you just run back anyways, because you know there's multiple guys here. So like the odds of you killing them all are slim. They're on a save. So they kill you, get they get the gun. Now they even the odds. You have spiked down. So maybe you fight where you are, but you don't have to push them. They have to run to you. The spike's right beside you. You don't have to push towards them. They will come to you. They have to. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what you do wrong. And I'm also gonna tell you what you're doing right. This is smart. So number one, you're playing Reyna. You get a kill, you dismiss. Number two, I've seen you play this angle the whole game so far. But you dropped and you changed your angle. That's good. They might expect you here because they saw you here. You haven't done this once. They probably don't expect you to push this. So you should get a free kill here if you hit your shots. Waiting for info. Okay, one thing, just another thing, just just a little little thing. So you're holding here. You can't you cannot see this part of the map at all. You can't see anything that's happening here, like at all, right? So you're holding here, you're holding here, you're holding here, you're holding here. You decide to push up. Okay, so how long was that? 10, 15 seconds? Their barrier stops right here. Now, he's not here, but he could be here holding you. And you walk out and don't even clear it. So just another thing, just like given what's going on, just check that angle just in case, because he could have just been standing there and killed you from behind. Okay, so another thing, are you on attack or defense? Mm-hmm. You got a great pick. You Now you're up numbers and there's no reason for you to push because you don't have to plant the spike. Your buddy dies. And now you wait too long for a trade. He changes where he is. He repositions. He kills you. You swung to where he was, right? But he just repositioned and killed you. It was free kill. Because he knew exactly where you were coming from. So you just took like a 80-20 fight in his favor and died. That's all. So like your first initial push was good. That's okay as Reyna or Jet or any duelist that can get out to go for that early fight to get a pick. But once you get your kill, you need to reposition and, and wait. Now you have numbers. Now they have to push into you with less players. It's pretty much a secured round. Here they come. Nice. There we go. Okay, so I like this. With this right here, this is perfect. He flashes you out. You don't run. You hold your ground. This is fine. You get to kill. Okay, now you need to leave. You need to get out of this position fully. They know exactly where you are because you just killed them from there. So if you pull back, you are 100% dead. It doesn't matter. He might not swing it. Yeah, he knows where you are. So once you get your kill, you need to leave and change your position. Because if you get this kill and you dip, Right? And you go here. Now, Reyna won't kill you. Whatever they get sight, you get a kill. I guarantee you someone runs up here. You kill him. You reposition down here. You take into here. You get another kill here, maybe. Or you retake with your team. But you just died because you stayed exactly where you were. They might not have the best aim, but it's pretty easy to shoot someone when you know where they are. So one thing, too, is beginning of this round, you're playing A. You jump spotted. You saw nothing, which is fine. But both you and Ray's dip. That's not good. So if your raise is going to maybe say, hey, raise stay A, if she doesn't listen to you, you need to fall back. I know you got to kill mid, but they, you still won this round, but they just instantly rotated to a free site. So like, yeah, they, you still win this round, but you guys left the site and you pushed with a spike down for no reason. You just out aim these kids. Let's see. Jump peek. Good. Okay. That was, see how much faster you swung out of there? It was better, um, but it still wasn't a full swing. It's still good though. Okay, good. Oh, another thing to keep in mind, you cleared off the rip, but he heard you. So all he has to do is sit here and wait. And he just waits for you, waits for you, waits for you. You don't re-clear it. And then you look here and you're dead. So what you can do here, you need to isolate this, this situation. You can isolate this fight pretty easily because you, what you did was you swung heaven angle and you swung this at the same time because your back was exposed. But right here, you can look here and hold. If he doesn't swing you, then you can run to this corner and clear through here without being exposed. But you exposed yourself twice. So hold this angle if you have to and wait because most likely someone is in mid or they not have someone there. So like a soft clear once, um, he just waited for your sound cue. He heard you jump and then he waited for you and killed you. But like, be weary of this extra angle right here, because once you swing into here, you're just dead. But if there's a guy here, then there's even two guys shooting you, but you can hold back. Look here. Wait, 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 wait. If he doesn't swing you, well, maybe he's not there. Then you can go up and you didn't use a blind or anything as well. I know you're trying to be sneaky. 
but there's two angles here. So if you blind out, then you can at least find where they are. And what else, what else are you doing? Where's your team? So I'll tell you one thing. There's nothing wrong with lurking as Reyna at all, actually. She's a really good agent to lurk with because you still have a race. Now, no one in this rank is going to do their job, so it doesn't matter what agent you're playing. Everyone's just running through regardless. If you're going to lurk, see how far away you are. So, like, if you get this pick, that's different. Hopefully, your team will rotate through. But, like, you can't support them at all. And by the time you get through mid and clear all the way, they're probably all dead. If you're going to do it, just call it to your team. But, like, right here, we just didn't clear the angle and we're dead. But they have sight. So, imagine if you were pushing through mid here. Yeah, and you could probably have a couple kills. You also don't have any smokes. No smokes, yeah. We don't have a smoker on our team, actually. Yeah. So that's kind of a bad thing. So you need to start isolating fights instead and not just hard pushing into where you can get swung by multiple angles. But you got this kill and then you turned your back to this the whole time. So like you were watching it there, that's good. You get this kill, you dip out, and then you don't, you kind of check it a little bit. Wait, that was fine. But now you're just fully exposed this whole time. So you're lucky he wasn't watching you. There he is, yeah. So just always be aware of where they could possibly be sitting and try not to have your back to people, especially when you're peeking a separate angle. So this is a really good example too. Like your team's lost, they're lost. So don't worry about your team, but you have a lot of kills and you could still lose this game. And there's a lot of things that you could do to win the game. Number one is don't be toxic. But always keep in mind, like, just because you have a bunch of kills doesn't mean that the team lost you the game. I'm not saying that your team didn't here. Something to always think about as well. Like, you're running away from your team this whole time. So realistically, I could tell you that you've been baiting your team the whole time. Now you're regrouping. This is good. Here we go. The thing is, we're like, we're like, I think we do end up going. Oh, no, we don't. We kind of just go in there. Your eyeball. Okay. Good. Dip out. Good. Okay. Clear this corner. Well done. Okay. You didn't clear hell. Okay. Another example too. There's no smoke. So this is a really, really hard for me to just tell you that you're getting swung from multiple angles, but you're being swung from like multiple angles when you're taking these fights. So isolating angles is a really important thing to do because it's the only reason you're dying here. They missed their shots, but there's two of them shooting you. This is fine. You kind of clear here. You come back. Hell's not cleared. Right now, you can be swung from hell. You can be swung from here as well. Okay, so your focus here, that's fine. But this is not cleared yet. You walk out. You can be swung from here. You can be swung from here. You can be swung from here and here. They're not all there, but these are all the angles that are looking at you right now. So it doesn't matter how good your aim is. You're going to die. He's probably going for his mantle. Okay, you know where Phoenix is. What do we do? Wow, he's on his, he's on my head left. Yeah. Yep, and then I, yeah. That's un, kind of unfortunate. Not really, though. Not unfortunate. Mm -hmm. You knew it was coming. You just did it anyways. Yeah. It's like, what's a better play, do you think? I'm just going to ask you. This is fine. I mean, I could have, like, got the Vandal, dipped out, and rotated or something. Yeah. So right here, like, this is good. Yeah. Now, freeze frame. You jump, you see him. What do we do here? Realistically looking okay. Yeah, that's fine. But now what do you think you should do looking at this mini map? Your whole team's here for some reason, but regardless, you know Phoenix is there at least, okay? What do you think you should do? He has a flash. You have to funnel through this little door, and there's multiple angles to be shot from. Uh, what, what do you think the best course of action would be? Oh, it's a hard question. I don't know, like rotate or look away from his flash and peek, but like the only way kill me. Get out of there, man. You're smoked yeah. off. You know Phoenix is there. And you can't do anything in this situation. You're running in. You don't have any more blinds. You have nothing. You're just dry peeking multiple angles uh, when you already know they're there. So, like, you're not taking a 50-50 fight even. You're just dying here. That's all you do. You're not, there's no way you win this. Yeah. Because they're both up there. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You know why that's happening? Because I was toxic. Yep. Yeah, so the minimap needs to be changed. Um, but there's a couple of other things as well. Let's understand the economy of the game. Next thing, pretty pressing issue. This is the number one thing that I saw in the entire game is you were just taking fights when you don't have to take fights at all. Another thing is you need to be clearing your corners. Corners. Yeah another big one but if i tell you all this you go and you play the same way nothing's gonna change nothing, yeah. yeah this is really worth nothing but if you take what i said to heart and you work on those those three things 
everything yeah. you'll you'll just improve like crazy sound good my man awesome brother have a good night have a good night peace